Okay, I'm Mike Wollogel. Um What I've got here is a, uh, a Swift card that um, was developed uh, by Jeff Raskin after he left the Macintosh project. Um, many of you, some of you may have known that Jeff worked on the uh, Macintosh project, was the first lead there. And when Steve Jobs came in, he had a diff Steve had a different idea of what a user-friendly computer should be than Jeff. So they kind of were at odds with each other. Jeff left Apple, formed a company called uh, Information Appliance Inc., Inc. And the first thing he did was develop, continue to develop his ideas. And it resulted in a firmware card called the Swift card. Um, which runs Swift software, and him and his team uh, developed it on the Apple IIe, which happens, you know, since they knew Apple, they came from Apple, that's what they used. So, basically, it's a, a word processor where you can basically take, so, take over the Apple computer. Okay, so it's ba the Swift card basically turns the Apple IIe into a, di a different kind of system that's based around uh, processing words or being a word processor, if you might speak. So you basically can type and add things. It's also integrated into uh, Apple Basic, so you can do um, simple things with uh, Basic, like if you want to... Uh, well, first, before I go into basic, to search around, you use what they call the leap keys. On the Apple IIe, it's the Apple key. And you hold that down and you type a letter or a series of letters, and it'll go find the next instance of the letters in the uh, program. So it'll jump to there. That's why they call it a leap key. And if you want to select what you leaped from to where you leaped to, you hit both of them and it selects everything. And then you can delete or whatever, so that's like a, a simple demo. And if you want to run a uh, simple basic program, like uh, print, oh, I made a mistake here. Print 45 times eight, you type that in, and you select it using the same leap thing. And then you use the uh, calc command, and it generates 45 times 8. So that's, that's one of the features he had. The other one is it didn't really have a file system. It just saved everything in memory, and it went to disk. So I just did the Control-L command, which moves memory to disk. So if you shut the machine off and power it back up, it basically loads up and goes back to the state you left it in, which is kind of neat. The problem is it didn't have a file system, so once you know everything you had to f had to fit in memory in in one disk. So that was a limitation uh, that they had there. But this eventually developed into the uh, Swift computer, and they uh, licensed it to Canon, and it became the Canon Cat. The same basic software. Um, the implementation was a, a very fast uh, version of Forth that they did themselves. And in the uh, Canon Cat, a um, lot of the interface is similar, the same, but if you want to drop into uh, programming, you'll drop into Forth instead of Basic.